Hey guys, this is Pato Award, and you're listening to Indie Sports Podcast. And uh, or what is that? Is that what it's called? That's yeah, right? per- that's perfect. Or did, I, or, did, or did I say something wrong? No, trust me, man. I mean, I can edit all this. It's no, it's no problem. What is, it, can... what is it again? Indie Sports <laughs> Podcast or what? The, the Indie Sports Car Podcast. <laughs> Not Indie Sports Cars uh, Podcast. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, if you want to try it again, go ahead. Hi guys, I'm Pato Award and you're listening to the Indie Sports Car Podcast. Welcome, ICP fans, to a, another episode of the Indie Sports Car Podcast. What's up, Missy? Hello, hello. K to the Aliexio. What's up, buddy? Oh, man. Butchered. My last name again. Um, you've gotta, we've got to get this right. I'm going to make a, a phonetics video for you, Frank. And uh, we're going we're gonna to work on this. But other than that, happy Thursday from the racing capital of the world, a slightly... Warmer than yesterday, racing capital of the world. Happy to be. You always got to rub that in, don't you? Every time. Every time. I don't blame you. <laughs> and uh, coming from the lovely city of, uh, where, where are you from, Jared? Grand Rapids, Michigan. Oh, that's right. You're a Wolverine. Uh-huh. Yep. Coming from the, the you know, the, the land of... The racing capital of the world, no, quote unquote. It's it's. The, <laughs> I'm a Notre Dame fan, so you're basically in the pits of fire and burning agony. That, yeah, that's about the best I can say without. It's it's negative two degrees, so I mean, there's not a whole lot of burning going on. Let's talking about frostbite. Hey, frostbite <laughs> burns, man. It does. It's so cold it burns. It's so cold it's hot. Yeah. Um, kind of like a uh, 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 Jordan's uh, career. <laughs> Carmen Jordan. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, <laughs> way to way to really you know throw women back a decade for a series you can't even get in. <laughs> uh, mm, so I so oh, I guess that's where we're starting the show. Out. The irony is so thick, I can't even swim through it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, it, it would be interesting, though, if they were able to release the results of whatever testing they had done prior to her, um, her pulling out. It doesn't even sound like she even tested. Yeah. Mm. I think she even tested. The way, the way I read it, she pulled out right before the testing even started, I think. Mm. Well, not her. Her her sponsor, her her sponsorship uh, team informed her that that she had to pull out because they weren't going to support her endeavors because they were mm. they were not beneficial to their expectations, whatever that means. They we couldn't find an agreement that could fulfill my sponsor's needs, For, uh, which means never mind. Well, go ahead. No, no, it's okay. It's a very vague statement, though. It's um. Yeah, and again, you don't need sponsors for this series. So, right. what do they have to do? Anything to do with anything? Right, right. It's it, it, it sounds like a bull. Yeah. It's, right. uh, it's going to be a uh, rated bullshit excuse to me. She she uh, she brought the uh, R rating. Oh, Mrs. She brought the R rating. So, well, <laughs> don't hold back now. Uh, that's how you know she means it. That's how you know she. <laughs> that's how you know she. And even the article I'm reading, it's like, given that one of the primary reasons for the creation of the W series was to ease the pressure on the ever-present need to for sponsorship in motorsport, her reason is a bizarre one. Yeah, that's my thoughts yeah. exactly. 
Who wrote, yeah. who wrote that? Uh, this article is um, uh, from James Allen on F1. Um, okay, well, fair enough. Uh, Luke Murphy is the writer. He nailed it. Mm-hmm. It's it's just a whole idea of having the women's series is counterintuitive because women want to feel included and feel the same as everyone else because they are the same as everyone else. But you put them in their own series, you're just segregating them away, and now they don't feel special anymore. You you're just pandering to making the problem worse. Well, it, it it's it's uh, if it was done by all women for all women, that'd be one thing. But it being done by, you know, by men who were trying to help women and are just making it worse. By men, and, yep. Now, actually, and here's an interesting part because the judging panel, which I had a problem with on the last time we yeah, talked about I this, remember. because it was an all male judging panel, correct? I know uh-huh. Three of them. Well, now there is a female on the judging panel. Uh, uh, and it is a is? former IndyCar driver. Oh. Lynn St. James is now she's on this a... panel of judges. She's uh, really about the, old, was about the best possible name for this. Well, they had to do some serious damage control. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a step in the right direction after about 10 steps backwards. That is interesting. Huh. If there was one oh. female racing name they could possibly throw in there to try to salvage any bit of credibility, they they pretty much got the right woman. Right, right. She's um, she'd be a great mentor to um, whichever whichever girls do finally make the uh, the final cut there. So, so a couple yeah. of notables that did not make the cut. Besides um, Carmen Jorda, but I guess she pulled herself out before she could um, fail miserably. Like we you know what I feel up. like. Um, Go ahead, Christian. What do you feel like? I I, I feel like, oh, and and this is just thinking about her time as a as a test driver with with F one. She never actually, and this is just this is just my opinion, of course. But it didn't seem to me like she actually wanted to drive. It was almost like she wanted the notability of being a race car driver, but doesn't actually want to try, mm. if that makes it's, uh, sense. Now, uh, I would put that in a football term. Uh, she's happy to wear the helmet. Yes, right. Fourth string punter. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm good with that. Right. I'm right. No, I'm cool with that. Like, you know, right, right. I mean, you know. Just to say, right, like, well, I, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, you know, but actually, like, taking a hit or, or, or doing anything, I'm not, whoa, I'm not really, whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah, whoa, 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 yeah, right? what is this, football, whoa, 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 like, I'm not, I'm not trying to do all of that, so that's, but that's what it seems like to me, just my opinion. It's like, hey, guys, like, go, I, go I ran yeah. out of the tunnel, my family got to see me, I was part of the team. There. Right, and I'll just go ahead, and, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's just how it feels, because I remember, uh, just even with the, the test driver position. She was um she was never really pushing to to ever become a an F one driver or she 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 very much said I'm happy with my role in just doing the sim thing all the time. You know, like she's the third was spring like, water boy. Yeah. But she's okay with it, which lets me know, okay, you don't actually well, want to drive. Right. Um No, because she but, out more reasons that makes her the worst possible person to be Period. Representing women in motorsports. Uh, you could have uh, it right there. The worst possible person. Yeah. Period. Okay, well, I don't know about all that, Frank. But, <laughs> but, but yeah. No, it could be having Frank represent them. What's that supposed to mean, Jared? <laughs> she, she, would, she would be racing right now if I was, if I was there. Frank was doing it, right? In F1. For <laughs> Both sides are out and Jordan's in. Thank, right. Thanks to Frank. No, no, no. Kick, kick Hamilton out. Why, why don't you, right? Um, well, it's only the car that matters. You know? I don't know. No, that's a different discussion. But well, go ahead, Missy. Finish off that list. 
So, it, like I said, it was 54 drivers. Um, a couple of the notables that did not make the cut of 28. Um, one was uh, Isla Agron, did not make the cut. Um, we have also, besides Carmen Jordan, uh, that, that name, whatever. Um, Bruna, was um, Bruna Tomaselli, right? Yeah, Bruna, Bruna Tomasella, Tomasell, mm. did not make the cut. Uh, oh. Hannah Zellers did not make the cut. Ha ha. Ah, uh, Frank. Frank. <laughs> what? But, the so the drivers. For a specific reason. I mean, you know. So the drivers that did make the cut. Uh, these are the final 28 that will race in, I believe it's l- again in late March, I think it is. In, I think that stage will take place in Spain, I believe, in March. España. Uh, yes. So the, this, the 28 will be cut down to 18 uh, with two reserve drivers. Um, but right now, the final 28, which was just announced a few days ago, are... Um, you have Sarah Bovey, uh, Jamie Chadwick, Sabri Cook. Congratulations, Sabri. Uh, Natalie Dacker. Yeah, congratulations, Natalie. Uh, Marta Garcia, Megan Gilks, uh, Grace Gu, Esme Hawkey, Jessica Hawkins, Shay Holbrook, uh, Francesca Lenosi, uh, Vivian Castelli. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Uh, Emma Kimmelenen. Sorry. Yeah, some of these names I'm going to screw up. Oh. Natalia Kowalska. Uh, Stephanie uh, Knox. I don't think that's how you say that, but I'm not going to say the other way I want to say it. Uh, Miki Koyama. Uh, Milo Metz. Sarah Moore. Tasman Pepper. Vicky Perea. Alice Powell. Uh Gozia Rest, Naomi Skiff, Shirley Vanderloff, Betsky Visser, Alexandra Whitley, Fabian Bowend, and Caitlin Wood are your final 28. Lee, Congratulations. We definitely will be proud of you for that list, Missy. Yes. <laughs> and Congratulations to those 28. Yes. Moving on to the yes. next round. And, yes, uh, moving on to the next round. So like we said, uh, will take place in Spain. They will be driving... I'll enjoy this home country of, of, a, of, a, of, a, of, of, of Spain. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's where she gets yeah. those eyes from. Uh, the, the next stage, yes, will take place in <laughs> Almeria, Spain, in March. Okay, it will we'll still be an interesting up. race. So it's mm-hmm. Circa de Cataluna. Huh? Um, yeah, I believe so. Believe so. That's, that's El Circa de la Cataluna. La... <laughs> El... <laughs> uh, we we apologize to all the native Spanish speakers who listen hey, to the podcast for I... Frank. Yeah, what you read? Oh, actually, anything... I, <laughs> I took a year of Spanish, but I was told that if if she was able oh, wow. to fail me, she would have. Wow. <laughs> and then year two, she went, "Why are you here? <laughs> Why are you even here?" <laughs> and I went, I, I, "What do you mean? I, I I passed last year." <laughs> She's like, "Well, let's uh." Let's find <laughs> well. <crazy." laughs> <laughs> what? She goes, not... yeah, well, she goes, you, you know, you could have taken a study hall, and I just looked at her and was like, I could? <laughs> so you found my butt in the study hall. <laughs> oh, the study hall. Ha 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 ha. I did want to just throw out because um, as I was going through this list, I had to do a little bit of research on the final 28 because there mm-hmm. was three of them that were not on the uh, list of 54 that were put out originally. Oh, really? And it yes. Was, and, it, and it was not how you say their names or anything. Really? Hmm. The yeah, so, um, <laughs> so six of them apparently were added on uh, or included a few weeks later after the 54 were added. And three of those six actually made the uh, final 28. 
I smell controversy. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. It just wouldn't be a women's series without drama. Mm. <laughs> Tell me about it. That's what I thought right away. Like cat fight. Yeah. Oh, and also wow. going back because we did when we spoke about who the um uh, where was that? When we talked about the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The um representatives of the series. Mm-hmm. Uh, who who they um picked to represent um the series, the six women that they picked, um did make it uh, into mm. the final 28. Uh, right. and, oh God dang it, of course I can't find the stupid article. Um, stupid article. Yeah, uh, they went that. to an auto sports awards um, dinner. Right. And, and like what it was like to, to be a real driver, being a, toasted for their accomplishments and be on the wheel. This this is what it might feel like, ladies. Go test out the seats. Frank, I swear to God, I'm turning around and smack you. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's a joke. I'm joking. I'm never serious. But um, they also did announce for the women's series that they will be um. Uh, uh, support series, uh, to DTM in 2019. So they're um schedule right now is um, it starts in May uh, in Hockenheim. No, he's got to say it right. It's Hockenheim. Hockenheim. Yeah, whatever. I'm not spitting out uh, spit. Um, <laughs> then they will be in Belgium uh, May 17th through the 19th. And then June 7th through 9th they'll be in Italy. And then July 5th through the 7th they'll be in uh, Germany. Yes, and then uh, July 19th to the 21st, they'll be in the Netherlands, and then they'll finish out uh, August 10th through 11th in the UK. Silverstone. Is that Brands Hatch? Oh, Brands Hatch, okay. Oh, it's a Brands Hatch, okay. Yeah. Uh, the little brother to Silverstone. Yeah. So, yes, they will be following uh, DTM in those races, so. It's a cool schedule. I'll give it that. Yeah, when Speed was around, I, I used to enjoy the DTM uh, series. Now yeah. you have to pay to watch, uh, you know, watch it online. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to pay for that. <laughs> but uh, speaking of DTM, you know, uh, I mean, if you want to transition there right now, I don't know. Maybe not just yet, but. Um, oh, you've you've already started the transition. I'm go, sorry. go ahead. I, I didn't know if we were complete it with complete the uh, it. W series, because she just. I mean, that was a, it's a good looking car. Schedule coming up, so. What 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 what, what kind Schedule's of car? nice. Car's good looking, so. Yeah, like what kind of car are they racing in anyway? They are racing a um, Tadist's F three eighteen Formula three car. It's like a USF 2000-ish type of... I mean, isn't it the same uh, chassis? Right? Titus? Same well, maker. Same manufacturer. Yeah. That's about it. Right. But it's it's going to be similar to well, I mean, what so we got over here. Oh, with a halo on it. Right. Yeah. Oh, so... Okay, so they, they took a really nice-looking car and made it ugly. Okay. Gotcha. For safety, Frank. For safety. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we can transition. That's all I want to throw out there about the W Series. I do like the, the way the car looks, so I will be mm-hmm. trying to catch some of these races now that Carmen George is gone. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. And now <laughs> she was the only thing keeping me from <laughs> That's... No, I I still would have watched it. I wouldn't have been happy about it, but I still would have watched it. <laughs> Just yeah. to see how the series does. Because, I mean, I am, you know, I, I do hope it does open up doors for, you know, a lot of these women. 
I still hate the segregation the of it, and I will continue to hate the segregation of it. But I, again, I do hope it, you know, opens up doors for some of the some of these women. Now, does the does the switching up of the judges help at all? The, does did did, it, did it heal that wound any? Or is not completely, but there's a woman on the panel now, so I do feel better about it. Right. A tad. Okay. That's, and that's and because it's Lynn St. James, so I do feel better about right. it, yes. So, yeah. the, so the tourniquet is on the uh, severed artery, and the bleeding has stopped to a, to a slight like dribble. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> well, okay. Well, yeah. Well, I'm excited to see it, and bummer for the Road to Indie Girls who um, weren't able to Advance. But oh, Sabri Cook isn't saying that. Oh, Saber? It's whatever. Yeah. Cook. Cook. Yeah. Yes. That's true. Yeah. Saber and um, Shay Holbrook was in the series at some point, wasn't she? I thought, I thought her name looked familiar. Uh, to me. I think so. I think so. But this is my point. Like, you know, this series yeah. is get, giving them recognition because, you know, no, we're saying the names. That's my point. So, so true. It, it is still a good thing. For women in racing, it's just the way they went about it was wrong. It's very wrong. As long as the racing is good, that's really all that matters. Honestly, I mean, yeah, yeah Formula E exists. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> right? <laughs> I like Formula E, Frank. I'm, it, I'm, it's starting to grow on me. I got money. That's what Carmen no, George is. You're gonna, you're gonna that's where she's gonna go. When it comes to a, to a, to a, to a block near you. <laughs> Stick my head out my window, yeah, and uh, <laughs> and watch it parading through the streets. But uh, no, no, no. Other than that attack mode thing that they um, unveiled for this year, I I kind of like the series. Um, I could do without the attack mode, but no attack, no chance. Isn't isn't that like voted by the fans? Isn't that what? No, 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 no. That was last year. That that was the fan boost. This year, you have to drive over a specific part of the track to engage it. Now. Oh, wait. Um, was this death yeah. race? What is this? Man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, oh, now it's yeah, Super, Mario, Super Mario. Super Mario Kart. F Zero. So, yeah, that I could do with that. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, I like the I like series. Well, just give them a Joker lap. Right, right, like GRC, right, right. You got to do a, a whole Joker lap, but um, but other than that, though, other than that, I, I I like what they did with what is this, the Gen the Gen Four car. Uh, it's got a really good look to it. I like that you don't have to switch cars now. Half you know halfway through the race, that's that's always cool. But like I said, I could do without the attack mode. The no driving over it. thing but, is ridiculous looking. Well, I mean. <laughs> I just I just like that it's environmentally friendly as well. And um You're right, because you know what those open wheel races were really polluting the atmosphere, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, burning all that corn is bad for right. the it's atmosphere. It's just bad for you. That's right. That's yep. right. Yeah. That's right. It is. <laughs> I mean it's kinda like, you know, say, you know, uh you know, save the lettuce, don't eat salads. I mean no, 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 no. But, but no. But, but here's what I like though about the series for real though is that it's 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 not just about uh, what's happening on the track. I, I feel like it's encouraging um, people in their public vehicles, their their street vehicles, to purchase electric cars. I think that's why I like the influence of it. So um, you get a Tesla, right? On. Who's not even in well, the, the series? <laughs> yeah. uh, the, whole, <laughs> the whole point of racing has always been to advance production models. Right. So if they can find a way to turn Formula E into advancing electric cars and hybrid technologies, then that's they are. that's actually like showing that Formula E is a success. That's how oh, I yeah. judge it. Well, look, Completely this agree. time next year, every single major, uh, every single major manufacturer out there will have an electric uh, car out on the road. Uh, you know, like a production yep. model for the masses type of thing. I mean, Cadillac right. has gone all 3D with it, and they've 3D mapped out the entire U.S. So not only will mm -hmm. the, so not only will the uh, electric car be, um, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. will be will be GPS. It'll be 3D like virtual reality kind of rendered.
kind of nuts. Mm. But the, the, that is a little but, bit. That, but that's just Cadillac. Just Cadillac. Yeah, gotcha. it's uh, exclusive to Cadillac. Like it's weird. It's just Cadillac, not Chevy, not GM. Just Cadillac. <laughs> just, just specifically Cadillac. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Weird. Hmm. But you know, you know right. Toyota and uh, you know, what, it's like Ma- uh, Mazda and uh, I mean, uh, like every single one, Honda. They they all have their yeah. own, uh, you know, full full uh, battery powered car come out. Yeah, obviously, no, I... obviously Tesla has the edge because they went to market first. But give everybody a year to catch up, and they'll be right there. Right there, will yeah. So we'll 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 see, man. So Formula E is doing its doing its job, I think. And um, and Missy, you said you think you think that's where Carmen's gonna go? That's where you think she'll end up? Oh yeah, that's where all the if she actually wants to drive. Oh, she said that's where all the used up drivers go, and it's easier. So, it, you know, if it's easier, I'm sure she'll be there. Well, she did partake in that test in, uh, where, where were they? Saudi Arabia? Mm-hmm. I think where they had that test, her, Pippa, and a few others got to test that formula like a few weeks back, I saw. Really strengthening yep. Missy's uh, stance on formula there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I noticed uh, Pebble Man wasn't on the uh, all-woman IMSA team at uh, Daytona this weekend. Mm. Why would she? I don't. I wasn't surprised. Yeah, I yeah. thought they were looking for good drivers. Yeah, that's why they got, you know, Christian Neal, <laughs> Captain Leg, you know. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, uh, I knew what I, I, Simona Di Silvestro. I mean, you know, she was all there, but uh, no, no, no people. I was like, but uh, but it's an all woman, IMSA, IMSA, you know, driver. Oh, driver. Hmm. <laughs> well, if you want to jump to IMSA in the Rolex 24 at Daytona. Well, yeah. That happened well. this weekend. Well, just real quick. I Well, like, I, I was segueing into, like, the DTM thing. And, you know, I just want to, it was inspiring. Uh, I just want to say, because it's still in my mind. But, uh, I, all, I mean, who here, you know, show of hands. Everybody listening, who here wasn't just inspired and almost cried when they saw Wickens riding the bike by himself? Come on now. I did. Yeah, cry. yeah, yeah. That's pretty damn inspiring. I I did have tears come to my eyes when I see it because it's so inspiring to see just how far he's come from that moment. Right. Exactly. <laughs> very, very emotional. Like very inspiring emotional. Like I was just like, wow. He's got. Dude's got the right attitude, and that's really what it is. It's it's a testament to those who have the right attitude. Um, if you have the right attitude, this 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 is what you get, you know. So I, I a comeback is going to be, I'm sure, way ahead of schedule, just because his attitude, uh, his work ethic, his motivation, he wants he wants to do it, and that's that's um. That's like the perfect patient. I mean, if you're a doctor, that's the that's the kind of patient you want. Like, I don't have to come in and wake him up. I don't have to get him excited to do what we need to do today in physical therapy. I'm sure Wickens is already up half an hour before you come in the room. He's already doing, you know, um, and excited to get there. And so, uh, very very proud of him. And um, yeah, good 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 job. It's good to see that he's taking. He's not going to publicly say it, but he knows he himself is responsible for what happened to him and the, for him to have the good spirits and the motivation and the drive to want to get back into the car and where he was before all this is just awesome. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, yeah. And to still keep that good sense of humor. I see those videos with him and Hinch uh, joking around at the hospital and having wheelchair races in the hallways. And, um, yeah, yeah. it's funny. Yeah. The, uh, it was the, uh, was, the, um, the, the scene from uh, Days of Thunder. Yeah, yeah, with um, with with Rowdy Rowdy, that guy, and and that other lun- lunatic um, piece of POS. Tom Rowdy Rose. Burns, Rowdy Roddy. This isn't wrestling, Frank. It's not. Whatever. You're talking about Piper Rowdy Roddy. <laughs> not that. I just not I, Piper. I, I, I really Rowdy wanted, Burns. I really just wanted to fast forward to me, you know, talking ass on Tom Cruise. That's all. Oh wow! Wow! <laughs> Is that what that I was? I thought this was a pro wrestling podcast <laughs> well it is when Those when uh words should never be together <laughs> it is when action express was still a team 
in a <laughs> the way Missy would Action Express coming at ya. And we would do the whole. <laughs> <laughs> When they were still a race team, we would announce it like they were a wrestler. It was great. Um, I mean, aren't, aren't they still a team? They're not, they're not a team anymore? They changed the name, no? I, I think, yeah, they did. But, but what team are they now? Hmm. Oh, I forget the name now, but I just, I just remember they changed it because I remember being upset that we can't go, Action Express, coming at ya. <laughs> right anymore. Um, <laughs> Like, like they were the tag team champions, you know. Um, but I can't believe yeah. <laughs> Mazda again, again, Mazda. What do you got to do? What do you got to do, Mazda? It it looks so good, I mean, and then the it just slap, ever, like you know, threw down the <laughs> slap ever, led almost the entire race. Didn't they both catch on fire. Yep, I think so. <laughs> and it was raining buckets. How do you catch on fire? Yeah, I mean you gotta, <laughs> you gotta really want to spontaneously combust in that. You gotta want it. You gotta want it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> like like there's like, like. I mean, I think they were trying to be Zach Veach wannabes. You know, I, I don't know. <laughs> he was there. And he might have had something to do with it. Truth or right. <laughs> but yeah, about, the Rolex how... Twenty Four at Daytona happened this weekend, so. Uh, Indeed, it was it was uh, just a th- thrill a second. I gotta tell you, uh, what what hour did it end early on? They ended it at after twenty three hours and fifty minutes, and so much controversy over ending ten minutes early. Honestly, if you're gonna go that far, what's another ten minutes? Red red flags. Uh, it was I not mean, for nothing, but you guys are closed cockpits. You should um be finishing some racing. Yeah, I there's no re if there's no thunder and lightning, there's no reason to not be out there racing. I agree. I not agree. open wheel. I mean, you, you, all well, yeah, of, yeah, all the cars are closed wheel. cockpits. They're all yeah. closed. There is no reason for that race to end in red flag and rain. Get out there and race. Completely agree. But some of the drivers, like I was looking at the tweets, they felt completely the opposite. This was just unbearable to them. They were just like, this is, you know. Well, I mean, did did you hear about uh, one of the Taylor brothers was getting sick because he was behind the pace car for so freaking long that the mm. were making him nauseous? Really? Yeah, like he was literally saying, I have to get out of this car. I'm going to just lose it all over this inside, and nobody's going to want to get in. Wow. And I thought one of the commentators, I can't remember who it was, but I thought Uh-oh. somebody else said it happened to them, too. Uh, Dale Jr. Oh, yeah, that's right. Wow. He was talking about, like, like how he, 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 he even, he, you know, he remembers that they went to uh, MC before or whatever, NASCAR, whatever. And ask them, can you please dial down the uh, the pace car lights flashing or whatever? Because it because if you're like right there and you're just you know you're in a lull or whatever and it, for so long and it's flashing, it just it makes you sick. Yeah, kind of uh-huh. like a um, people with uh, epilepsy or whatever. Right, you know, right. Flashing lights or whatever for just too long. So yeah, so the race ended red flagged, which I hate it ending. Red flag, yellow flag. I, I hate those endings. I really do. Well, the, yeah, I, the yellow yeah. started like hour number what seven into the race and kind of just continued on for another twenty hours. It just that's what it <laughs> felt like anyway. It was just one big race of a yellow. Well, I thought it was pretty good up until like I don't know what hour it was. I thought I started overnight. Yeah. yeah. Night. The beginning of the race was uh, inspiring, especially with Alex Zanardi in there. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, I thought watching him race was pretty cool. Although I was a little bit upset that you know that his first uh, jump in the car, he had they had problems with the steering wheel. Uh, do you do you hear how much that steering wheel cost BMW? And BMW oh, I'm sure it cost a fortune. It was like something like thirty thousand. Uh, they had over. two of them. Jeez. They had at least two of them. Because when the first steering wheel didn't lock in right and didn't click, they got they grabbed another one. 
Wow. Wow. It, it was interesting. But then, you know, he got, he got behind the car, and his lap times were, com you know, comparable to everybody else's, and it's, it's like it was Alex and Artie back in the race. Like, I didn't think twice about it after that, to be honest. I had to remind <laughs> myself, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty yeah. uh, pretty interesting how, how BMW uh, engin engineered the whole thing. Yeah. I mean, let me, let me let me let's face it. Like, if if you're gonna take on that, you're not really looking to win. But it's it's more of a humanitarian kind of thing, and that's what I really I really uh, respected BMW for for doing that because they pretty much you know, we're not gonna win this race because it's gonna set us back and because you know racing is down to you know half seconds, quarter seconds any, anymore. So it's like, but what we are doing is you know we're inspiring people. You know, and, and it was just, 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 just the humanitarian aspect of it was really ins it was an inspiring weekend with uh, you know seeing yeah. Alex and Artie back out there and uh, and like all the all the drivers had a big uh, like they were like yeah I'm, I'm in a race with Alex and Artie it's pretty like everybody was, was inspired you could just feel it you know yeah so that was pretty cool so you know okay. so <laughs> Final results. Um, your winners for the DPI class um, was the Conoco Minolta Cadillac. Um, they're a great sponsor. Their fax machine copier printer sucks. Um, and so uh, it, it driving in that car was uh, Jordan Taylor, Fernando Alonso, uh, Renger Vanderzandi, and Ka Kami Kobayashi. Fernando got a twenty, a, a shiny new yep. Rolex. He's got two out of the three jewels now. Dun, dun, dun. One Carbide. more. Oh. And in second was uh, the Wheel and Engineering Racing Cadillac DPI, uh, piloted by Felipe Nasser, Eric Coran, and Pipo Durrani. And then in third was the Acura Team Penske DPI of uh, Ricky Taylor, Elio Castroneves, and Alexander Rossi. Was your podium finish for the DPI class? Now, now the top class for IMSA in the podium. How many uh, drivers up there were actually sports car drivers? Three? Four? I just heard open wheeler, open wheeler, open wheeler, open wheeler, open wheeler. That's all I heard. Am I the only one? <laughs> Jared? <laughs> I yeah, might be the only one. Fair enough. Uh, it's kind of funny that not a single NASCAR driver was uh, there racing at Daytona. It's strange how they didn't ask a single driver. Weird. Uh, oh, wait, well, no, no, no. Are you not counting Almond Digger? Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. No, no, I guess you're not he, counting Almond. No, he's an open wheeler. What about Austin Sindrick? <laughs> What about him? Consider him a stock car. Right. Yeah, Frank. Uh, Arca? No, no, Frank. Okay. <laughs> Wait, no, no. Doesn't he race something else? He doesn't race, uh, race Arca anymore. Oh, he made it out of the Junior League of, of Stock Car? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. He does something else now. <laughs> and, and it's so prevalent that we have no idea. Um... But hey, his dad. Uh, his dad's got a couple Indy 500. He currently series. competes in the full-time NASCAR Xfinity series. Oh, there you go. One driver. Ah, uh, for Ford Mustang Team Penske, but it's, it doesn't matter. So NASCAR father, Xfinity series. Thank you, thank you. Missy was right. That's all I need to prove. Yeah. But, Moving on. But the connection was still open wheel. <laughs> okay. His father. No, no. You said, <laughs> no, no. Driver. You said driver. Doesn't no no connection. You said driver. He is a stock car NASCAR driver. Thank you. I don't, I don't, I, I don't use LMP two. Your podium uh, was uh, three out of the four cars. Pastor Maldonado, Sebastian Saavedra, Ryan Cullen, and Roberto Gonzalez for Dragon Speed. Uh, in second was Chris Wright, Kyle Mason, Robert Mason, and Cameron Castles for Performance Tech Motorsports. 
And then in third was Ben Hanley, Nicholas LaPere, uh, James Allen, and Henrik Hedman for Dragon Speed. Uh, the, yeah, the, the, very, and, the very deep P2 class. And then so your, what, what, was, what was the team you didn't mention? <laughs> Out of the four there? Might as well mention them. I have an honorable mention for being there. Showing up. <laughs> we are Matheson Motorsports. There you go. Good job, guys. Keep, 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 keep the P2 dream alive. At a GTLM, your winner was the BMW Team RLL uh, of Colton Herta, Augusto Farfus, uh, Connor D. Filippi, uh, and Philip Eng. <laughs> Ever. And in second, uh, you oh. had Risi Competition uh, in the Ferrari 488 GTE of Alessandro Pierre Gudi, James Pilato, <laughs> David Ragone, and Miguel Molina. And in third, you had the Porsche 911 RSR of uh, Earl Bamber, Lawrence Van Thor, and Matthew G- Geminet in third. Way to way to plow through that one. That was a good one. Yep. If you don't know how to say it, just right through yep. it. Yep. Sounds good. <laughs> and then in GTD, you had the winning team was GRT Grasser Racing Team within a Lamborghini Huracan GT3 of um, Mirko Bortolotti. Uh, Christian Engelhart, Reek, Reekers, Rolf Eichen. <laughs> and in second was uh, Montaplace by Land Motorsport uh, in an Audi R8 LMS GT3 of um, Ricky Feller, Christopher Mize, Daniel Marad, and Dries Van Thor. No, they, uh, they went to last. Oh, wait, that's right. No, sorry. Yeah, they lost their position because of something. They broke some rule. I don't remember what rule it was, but scratch that. So in second was A I M Vassar Sullivan Lexus R C F G T three of Aaron Tillitz. Yay, Aaron! Uh, Townsend, right, Bell. Townsend Bell. Townsend um, <laughs> Bell. Jeff Siegel and Frank Montecalvo uh, was in second, and then in third was uh, the Audi Sport Experience WRT Speedstar, Audi R8 LMS GT3 of Roman D. Angelis, uh, Kelvin Vanderlin, Frederick Van Vich, and Ian James. Who? Ian James. Ian. 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 Something James. I, I don't have the to talk. I, can't, I still can't get Christian's last name right. You still can't. It's been years. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> been, you, you know when I gave up trying? Years. Years, I know, I know. Week, week one. He was like, right, was week like one. Christian Alexo. It's, it's, no, it's, no. It's, oh. it's, it's Alexo. I'm like, okay. No, no we're going we're gonna to work on this, Frank. We're going to. This is the year we get this down. Alexo. Um, <laughs> this is the year, Frank. I, I do want to give some props though to the NBC Sports guys. They actually did a uh, a pretty good job with the broadcast this year for their first time out. And if uh, any what they did for this is any indication of what's to come for the Indy 500, then we're in for a treat come May. Very true. Yeah, I did like their their broadcast. I did like um where they had on the side uh, the positions instead of you know it's scrolling across the bottom of the screen. And if you miss this thinking, you know, like GTLM class, you're like, oh, dang it. Now you had to wait for the whole thing to spiral through again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, mm-hmm. it, was a lot, it was a lot easier to, to like, mo- like, like to, yeah, you're right. You just had to look up and like, oh, who's in third, you know, first in the GTD? Oh, okay. You didn't have to wait for all the scrolling to go to get to the GTD class. I do wish they would ban Rutledge Wood, though. 
Mm. Why, why is that? Why is that, Jared? Because he's not funny. He's not entertaining. Trying too hard for you? Yes. He tries yeah. way mm-hmm. too hard. Yeah, yeah, I agree. He sucks mm-hmm. at throwing darts at balloons. What? <laughs> he sucks at interviewing guys <laughs> getting massages. Why Why are you interviewing Jordan Taylor while he's getting a massage? The whole point of getting a massage is to relax, not have Rutledge Wood there with a microphone in your face. See, I, I could have been down with that if it was like, I don't know, somebody sexier. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> Besides, I mean, Jordan you know, Taylor isn't took sexy. The words right out of my mouth. No, no. <laughs> just oh, throwing okay. it out You're there from a, a female perspective. Yeah, yeah, just throwing out from sexy. a female perspective, you know. <laughs> Fernando Alonso, maybe? Could have been somebody a little hotter. Fernando Alonso, yeah. I, I, I would have enjoyed that myself. Oh, Missy's going to be decked out. Frank, of you and these suspect comments. We're going we're gonna to talk about this, Frank, this year. I don't know. Since 2019 has started, think, Frank's list is growing. Just think about all that Spanish <laughs> hair and oil, all that natural oil and, uh, and you know. <laughs> I mean, he's a, he's an older man. He's got a lot of knots that you got to work out. Get in there deep. I can't. Into the muscles, you know. I can't wait for media day. <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, I uh, got to meet him at Barber. I shook his hand. I, I said nothing. I'm stunned. He, oh. <laughs> yep, yep. Froze up. I was, I was definitely I was, getting a selfie this year. I was lost in his eyes. Oh, I did want to throw out the fastest lap in GTLM was thrown out by Colton Herta. Just throwing that out there. Yeah, I was, I was really happy to hear that. I was like, oh, great. Good run. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, there, there it is. Your Harding's Daytona 24. But y'all. Still not okay with the ending and the red flag and the rain but you know it is what it is it was 10 not minutes bad. for crying out loud I don't care. no it doing? wasn't it was like the last five hours it was like yellow and red flag no I'm saying why end it 10 minutes early just at least go to 24 mm. that's all I'm saying yeah NASCAR would never throw a red flag and cancel a race or Early, we just watched them do it. What do you mean? I know someone was on Twitter earlier this week and said some about their last sentence of their tweet was NASCAR would never checker flag a race early. Well, you... To which I just started dying of laughter. <laughs> you mean a race fan was was wrong about something? Yeah, someone on Twitter was wrong. I know, crazy. And the NASCAR yeah. fan at that. I know. Because they're so up to speed with everything else going on. Because well, right, if... I mean, if they were, you know, their sport wouldn't be dying. <laughs> the glorious death. <laughs> so much fun to watch. Moving on. Yes. Uh, anything about F1 you want to bring up? No. Mm. Fernando Alonso. We can talk more about him. Yeah. Um. The only thing I want to drop is um, about F1 is they're rethinking their TV camera positions for 2019. Because that's what's been wrong. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So they're going to rework that, but we'll see how that goes. Hopefully a uh, halo won't be in the middle of the camera picture this year. Uh, is that why they're repositioning it, really? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're repositioning them around the track. I'm just throwing out that the, what, as soon as I know. the first race, the halo was right smack in the middle of the picture of the camera that they were showing in the angle. Yeah, that's kind of hard for it not to be, really. It's kind of, kind of straight right. smack dab in the middle of the car. I mean, and moving on. So IndyCar, <clears throat> yeah. there was a lot that came out. We did discuss some of it last week, but unfortunately, our um. We had some technical down. technical difficulties last week, and um, yeah, that didn't work. Mm-hmm. So, catching up, um, I think we mentioned that um, with regarding Schmidt 
Um, they have a deal with Arrow now, so they are a full partner. Arrow expands its involvement with Schmidt to become a full partner. And another car will be added to the lineup. Yes. The so they will. Be at. I mean, Jack Harvey will be in the 500, but that was going to happen anyway. I wonder who's going to take it up for the rest of the season. We'll, we'll find. I, well, I, I know who it won't be. <laughs> Well, speaking of Jack Harvey, um, he announced that he's doing 10 races this year. So, um, the, and they'll continue with Arrow Schmidt Peterson Motorsports. Um, so they'll compete for the first six races uh, for St. Petersburg, Circuit of the Americas, Barber Motorsports Park, uh, Long Beach, the Indianapolis Grand Prix, and the Indy 500. And then they'll be doing um, Road America. And Mid Ohio, and then they'll be doing Portland and Laguna Seca. You need more ovals, Jackie. You need more ovals. Yeah. But uh, this here no, no, good no, for no. Jack Harvey. I'm glad for Jack Harvey. I, I like Jack Harvey. Yeah, Jack's yeah. a good guy. Yeah. He's a, Next he's a year, two um, ovals added to the series. Mark, Mark so. Uh, <laughs> no, no, but it's 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 positive, man. For um moves for him and, and, and whatever his sponsorship team uh, is doing, because he, he ran, what, six races last year? So up to ten this year. Hopefully mm-hmm. you keep trending that way. you got a whole season pretty soon. It's yeah. um, a good move for Michael Shank to be able to expand his mm-hmm. his uh, workings in IndyCar. It's always good to see always part-time nice to teams see. taking on more. Yeah. It is awesome. That's right. I mean, like, everything is moving forward for IndyCar. Getting bigger, getting better, getting... Uh, Richer, <laughs> yeah. That's just great. came out today. New uh, presenting sponsor for the Indianapolis 500. Yep, yep. And yes, Gainbridge. Yes. Another sponsor. They replaced uh, Pen Grade. Pen Grade. Mm-hmm. Just, and, uh, uh, then, and that was the main topic of last week's show that we all missed. Uh, was the NTT Data Series. IndyCar series, whatever. You know, I don't know how to go support them with my money because I have no idea what they do. Go buy a fax machine in Japan. Apparently, <laughs> they moved to Japan to support the IndyCar series. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly what pretty much we came up with. Yeah, and apparently it's data, not data. So we've been saying it wrong the whole time. Who knew? And yeah. data. Data, data. It's, it's made its motto. Yeah, you know, potato. You know, uh, water, water. Water, water. Whatever you want to say. <laughs> so, yes. So happy that they are the new sponsor for IndyCar, and hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll bring a race into Japan. Montague, anybody? Back to Japan. Another oval? Maybe? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. The twin ring, twin wing, the twin wing. Yeah. Except that the twin ring was uh, severely damaged by the earthquake. Oh, no, and it's good yet to, to be it, repla- repaired. <laughs> they, got, they got a whole year to do it. I mean, it's only asphalt. Yeah. Did somebody call of Honda. We, yeah. Of course, we brought up numbers last week, too. And, yeah, to call Honda. Yep. And NTT data has a lot of money. They can fix it. They can yeah. buy it, <laughs> level it, and start over now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's hot in this track, so they, they they would have to be the ones responsible for the. For the repair. Honda built it, so. What are, what are you doing, Honda? Lunching on your own track? <laughs> Actually, I thought I seen something that um Honda might become the the sponsor for um. Uh, Long Beach. It'd be Acura. Mm. What's the mm. difference? Acura, Honda, it's the same. Yeah. Thing. But it, it, it would be good to see a title sponsor back on Long Beach. Mm-hmm. Didn't mm-hmm. he? He used to be yeah. Toyota, right? Yeah. Yeah, Toyota. Yeah. It, and it wasn't even Toyota itself. It was the Toyota uh, dealers of Southern California that uh, put it on. All uh, or eventually. No, it was always the Toyota dealers. Oh. Mm. And then Toyota corporate 
added more of their stuff, but it had always originally been the Toyota dealers of Southern California. So what happened? They, 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 Toyota's not doing good in SoCal? Uh, SoCal? Well, Toyota seems to only care about NASCAR, so... Well, which is kind of ironic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trying to, try to stop the hemorrhaging. So, and then one of the other things that came out was our favorite driver was able to get a full-time season. I know we're so happy he got a full-time ride. You so who? I said, our favorite driver. We're just you so who? happy. You heard me. Talking about wow. Santi or Rudy? Wow. No, no. Wow. This, is our, this is our other favorite driver. Wow. Oh, an actual real favorite driver. Max Chilton. Oh, <laughs> bad man. Yeah. Didn't see that. Yes. He's gonna learn some more this year. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Charlie yes, Kimball's yes, yes. only got a partial season ride, but Max Chilton still got that full season. No, no, and that's good, man. That's good. You don't, you don't need Kimball taking any of your shine, Max. No, 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 no. All right, all right. You got too much shining to do. <laughs> Kimball's yeah, got Kimball that. Steal any deal. of that, man. This well, is uh... you're gonna learn a lot more by yourself there. <laughs> That's, that's right. <laughs> Why can't you pay well, I, for one, am super excited. Right? I am super excited um, to have Max back in the series. Um, yeah. Look, you know, when, hopefully we can get some, some more gold when, comments out of him. When a driver retweets his own crash, that's, that's, a, that's a cool cool guy right there. No, no, no. When a driver covers... The sponsor logo with his arms folded during the interview. That's that's a cool guy right there. <laughs> that's what you want. You want a guy to fold his arms right across the logo. <laughs> that's 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 what you want. Well, he, you know. he figures by now everybody knows what it is. It's Papa. <laughs> it's Papa. Don't want people to look too deep into this. I'm sure he, got, I'm sure he was grounded after that. Yeah. <laughs> well, Papa, Papa got ousted at Gallagher. Uh-oh. Oh, did Papa's, it? Yeah, Papa is not there anymore. So, really? So how, yeah. So how did Max secure this? Yeah, how did this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's talk so, about that's that. A good question. Well, to uh, do some digging, but I last cut. I heard, well, it's good his thing we dad was out on. as the CEO. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's the off season. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing. I'm guessing whatever deal they had already with yeah, Gallagher was, was contracted for a few years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you know, Jared, okay. uh, uh, Molsher's not taking the off season off. He's still see, running. but Molsher, Molsher gets paid to do what he does. I don't get a dime for what I do. Oh, and then yeah, we're making the big bucks here, doing what we're doing here. We do it because yeah. we love it, son. Yes, like, you gotta love it first before you get paid. Get paid in passion. That's right. That's right. But I don't want money. I don't need money. Sure does sound money's like stupid. it. <laughs> money's stupid. All right, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, needs money. Who? Yeah. Who wants you don't, stuff nobody that makes needs, the world go around? Yeah, nobody needs money in racing. <laughs> <laughs> well, IndyCar drivers sure don't. Mm-hmm. Just give it all a oh, home. No, but uh, how about that, how man. about our uh, one of our you favorites, us, Connor Daly, getting a ride speak, again with the U.S. Air Force? Yeah. Oh. yeah, there's Excuse so many. Uh, other drivers that should have got a ride. Yeah, Connor yeah, did get his ride. Ha- many many fans happy about that. I saw the the ladies over at Fast Cars, Fast Girls. They uh. They're very happy to see Connor back, and um, he's and everybody's be- saying this will be his best chance to win it. This will be the best chance he's ever had. Yeah, and uh, and, and uh, Connor maybe. Connor deserves the 500 ride. Outside of that, I I don't yeah I don't think he really needs anything else besides the 500. But he's definitely one of those guys that has all the personality in the world and the fans love him. And he's a local Indiana kid who yeah, I mean, he deserves he's good for the to be there. He's good yeah. For the series to be there. You know I mean? If, yeah. if, if you want that fan ringer in there to make sure that the fans, 
you know, you got the fans' attention, then it's worth a seat, I suppose. Well, and he's there for the eye candy. Well, yeah, look, let me look at that chin, man. If I need, if I need a trench dug, I mean, he. <laughs> I'm just saying, he he he, he could have fixed Daytona's problems easily. Just get, just get Connor out there and just dig a trench, and you know the, the drainage will be much better. Okay. We, we would have got the ten minutes back, and that would have finished twenty four hours. Connor was out there. <laughs> oh my goodness! I can't. I can't. Wow. wow. <laughs> Digging a drainage ditch. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. And, he, and he'd do it too because he's got that much passion. That's what I love about Connor. <laughs> he, he loves to be there. You know? No, no I, 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 I will say that about him, though. He um, he does work very hard at finding he, rides he and really opportunities. I, I, I do give him that. Car. He really is. Uh, uh... No, well, no, no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. I think Connor step higher than her. Yeah. 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 I wldn't I wouldn't say she's. <laughs> he's, he's the car. Yeah. The car majority of Indy car. But I like Connor. Uh, he's a good guy. I like him personally. But he, he does work hard though. I post him um, a lot. Really? Yeah. I have nothing but good mm-hmm. things to say about him personally. That's right. I want to play Call of Duty with Connor. Why? What? <laughs> Connor plays Such Call of random... Duty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to play Call of Duty. You know, I, I want to play Marco Twitch. Polo he's, in the pool with been... Connor. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, I want to I do Marco Polo in Hinch's pool. <laughs> with Connor. <laughs> 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 oh, oh. I'm not sure what just happened. Oh. Yeah, I, I, mean, I, I, I I've been so, playing a lot of Call of Duty lately. Is this what it's like derailing a show? It's just fun. Yes. That's what it feels like. Okay. The car crash audio. Well, I do it every week. Bring, bringing it back, I guess. Elio Castroneves announced that he will be racing pro, for the Indy 500 and the Indianapolis Grand Prix for Team Penske. As if nobody expected that at all. Yeah. No. Yeah, I expect <laughs> Yep, I did too. So, uh, I don't know, journalist, do you have anything to bring that we don't know? Uh, not really. On the spot, why don't you, Frank? Yeah, put him on the spot, why don't you? It's, uh, yeah, it's kind of a... Of well, I, I did what, just want to mention the Vassar Sullivan um, thing with that they extended their IndyCar deal with Coin and Sebastian Bourdais, so they reached a new multi-year agreement. Oh, good. Uh, Dale Coin Racing and Vassar Sullivan, so, so that is good. Proof that Steve Bass is past his prime, and he's lost his edge. But he's still he's got some left. Straight. Yeah, he's uh, got some left still. He's got some left, Frank. Don't you do that? He crashed Don't the do that. Away because Ed Jones passed him on the inside. He went. Oh. I mean, come on. It was literally like that. Turn two. Ed Jones dives inside it for a nice clean inside pass. Startled the heck out of CPAS. Into the wall he went. That's what I saw. He's not done, Frank. Uh, nah. at, at that very moment, I went, CPAS is done. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Ed Jones just startled you into a wall. So, for well, just, Speaking of test. Gateway, though, that they, they did announce that they're going to be an increase in power boost at Gateway and Iowa. Didn't need it. Just find a gateway. Perfect for gateway. Yeah, it, it'll one. make them. Have You're saying like a power one. More. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> Led every lap almost, actually. That's that's the reason why you're saying gateway was perfect. <laughs> it's because power one. Yeah. Hundred percent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't don't you know don't don't mess up the. Way and that's what I like about you, Frank. That's what I like about you. You know, if somebody asks me to name my favorite things about you, what's up there on the top is that you are not ashamed of your personal biases, um, and I appreciate that about you. Well, thank you. I am consistent. You're welcome. You're welcome. Absolutely. Consistently biased. <laughs> Consistently biased. Yep. Yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> and you know uh, if, if anything I'm, if I'm going to take the weekly criticism for the last four years about it I'm going to own it <laughs> and own it you have sir 
So did you. And I got to taste the milk from Victory Lane or Victory Circle this year. Probably. So, yeah. It was all worth it. Good. I can still taste News. it. But, but <laughs> buttermilk on the hottest day in recorded track history is terrible. But still, amazing. Milk was a bad idea. Milk was a bad idea. <laughs> Should have done orange juice. Oh, and, ha- and have my head almost ripped off by the fan base? No. <laughs> I'm still mad at Emerson for that. And I was like 12. <laughs> I was 12 and I knew he was doing something really wrong. Really wrong, man. I'd, I'd ask for chocolate milk. You would. You're still I would. You, you're such a child. <laughs> you're such a child. <laughs> And you know what? And so my girlfriend says the same thing. And we need to get a crazy <laughs> straw in there for Jared. Can somebody please get a crazy straw for Jared in Victory Little Circle? Mm-hmm. He needs to drink his chocolate milk. It would be the list of like Indy 500 drivers and their milk choices: whole, skim, non-fat, whole, chocolate, 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 whole chocolate, whole chocolate. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. You legend, you. Mm. Old dark chocolate. How about that? Mm-hmm. that <laughs> you legend, you. Anyway. Um, I don't. I don't think. I don't chocolate. like dark chocolate. I like milk chocolate. I'm a dark chocolate kind of guy. Yeah. It's kind of bitter. No. Uh, yeah. I think bitter, so. Anyway. I you like you it. like it? You you like that? Okay. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you, you, you break off a little piece and you let it dissolve on your tongue. It's good stuff. Mm-hmm. Don't eat a lot no, of it I'm, real quick. Oh, boy. I'm with Misty on this. It'll, 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 it will put you down. No chocolate. Yeah, dark yeah. chocolate coma. All right. Well, I know what to bring you next time. Uh, next time I see you, friend. Just, just not mint. I can't even do that again. Oh God. <laughs> I told you to slow down. Stop eating so many. No, they were good. Until they weren't. Frankton. They were good until they were. Like pancakes. It's literally pancakes. The first four, no, delicious. No. It's all hell. That fifth one, you want right. to vomit. You're like, right. Yeah, but you mm-hmm. will eat pancakes again, though. You will do pancakes again. <laughs> but you will. You will do them again. Yes, you're See, right. You're right. If I even right. think about the smell of mint chocolate, <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to just lose it right now. It comes because I made a new cookie this year at Christmas, and it was like a chocolate with mint, like um, okay, chips. And yeah, What's that? and I told Frank to <laughs> slow down eating them. Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, keep going. I'm not even acknowledge that. And I told yeah, him to stop good. eating them, and he said, "No, no, they're good." Kept shoving them in his big mouth. <laughs> and what happened? We got a belly ache. Mm-hmm. That's what we got. Five days. For five wow. days, I I smelled like mint chocolate chip. I <laughs> I all I smelled was mint chocolate. Chip. I like I tasted mint chocolate chip. Everything I ate, oh my god, it was terrible. It, it was oozing out of my skin. I believe it. I was Those sweating mint, mint really chocolate good. chip. Yeah, I was running a marathon, and so oh, it smelled good. Like, get away from me. Dogs were chasing me. <laughs> <laughs> can we can we do something for the fans this year where we give away like a plate? Of Missy's new mint chocolate chip cookies, I think that's stop the talking about ISTP <laughs> gift for the fans. I think the fans would like that. Oh, yeah, Missy, can you are you are you guys on the same Pete? Because please bring some mint chocolate chip cookies to St. Pete. No, 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 no. Um, no, no, no. Alrighty. Okay, so um, is there anything else we need to, to cover? Because um, I know Christian, you're on a bit of a time strain here. I think we went past your your bedtime. Um, uh, no, um, no, I think that was Jared, everything. Yeah, Jared, uh, is there anything uh, that we didn't cover for the last two weeks ish? Uh-huh. No, just a lot of sponsorship and uh, driver announcements. Know. What? We just had a lot of sponsor and uh, driver announcements the last couple weeks. Right I think we've uh, just about covered them all. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's nice to know what's... Uh, Bob Marino extended <laughs> their sponsorship with Gateway. Just throwing out there. I don't know if we mentioned that before, but... More money. 
listening to the series. Like it. Like it. Like hearing what I'm, like hearing what I'm here. Feeling good. Feeling good. So, uh, pretty soon we're going to be going to uh, St. Louis. Ha, 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 Okay. Virginia. Yes, yes, yes. Let's, um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that was a great time, uh, last season. Definitely looking forward to, uh, to being back. But this time, hopefully in a car. So, um, I, that'd be even I cooler than it was last time. I yeah. expect nothing less. But, uh, yeah. That's right, man. Uh, that's right. Yep, yep, yeah. Yeah, we're uh, about a month and a half away from the season opener. I can't believe it's so close already. It's flying by. You're right. Isn't it? Absolutely nuts, man. It's almost February. Nights are booked. Hotels are booked. We're in, an hour away from February. Yeah. I was just going to say, about an hour away from February. Crazy. Crazy. It's almost my birthday. Where's time going, man? What do you get me, Christian? A signed copy of your book, and what is it called? Where the, can I get it? <laughs> well, first off, no, I'll be getting you mint chocolate chip cookies. But oh. uh, my book <laughs> is called "My Life and Story: The Outside Groove" by Cosmic Media Productions, forwarded by the legendary Willie T. Ribs, and it can be found on Amazon.com, Barnes and Noble, Books a Million, Kodo. And wait, Walmart now actually, and other fine retailers. And that's our first time we did that in 2019. Thank you, Missy. You're welcome. Uh, Jared, where can they find uh, your articles at, man? Uh, I haven't really written a whole lot in 2019, but uh, I just relaunched my site at realopenwheel.com. Right on. And uh, I'm sure they will be reading your good stuff coming this season. That's oh, Jared yes. DePau. Twitter is? At J DePau. D-E-P-O-U-W. And uh, what, 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 what website do you see your articles on again? Uh, RealOpenWheel.com. Wasn't it MazdaRadindy.com? Maybe. That's true. No. Oh, I'm I'm very much hoping for uh, to be doing IndyCar.com this year. Amen. Yes, I've uh, spoken to a Mr. Mark Robinson. Cool. Who's that? With, oh uh, God! And I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and. And as always, you can find our stuff at www.theindiesportscarpodcast.com. Right on. And uh, right on. So, uh, Jared, thanks for coming on, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. Right on. And uh, Christian, always a pleasure, as always, every week. Likewise. Likewise. And uh, be be sure to tune next week because we will have a better guest who contributes a lot more than Jared <laughs> I'm kidding. No, it's a joke. <laughs> That's because he was wow. in the Daytona 24 last week. <laughs> and on that note, you know Love you, Jared. that I know yeah. that, that Frank, <laughs> eh, you know, and Christian, eh, maybe. And Jared, everybody knows St. Pete is in 37 days, 13 hours, 40 minutes, and 47 seconds, you know? My flight is booked. With that. Yes, I'll